always think well of everyone and be ready to help others. This is the secret of happiness. I am Master Path Pujari. And I, Jai Dalvi, are your compass for today. We, the students of Standard 10, feel proud to present our class assembly to you this morning. We welcome our rector, Rev. Father Solomon Rapol, our principal, Rev. Father Plovi D'Souza, our administrator, Rev. Father Jesu Robinson, our assistant parish priest and youth coordinator, Rev. Father Reynold Lemos, our supervisor, Mrs. Charushila Pujari, teachers, parents, students and to all those who are watching this program online. The topic of our assembly is Don Bosco, Friend of the Youth. St. John Bosco, also known as Don Bosco, was born on 16th August 1815. Don Bosco was charitable, helpful, nurturing, selfless, obedient, playful and funny. He would bring poor boys from the street to his house and care for them. Friends, speech is a source through which the person who is speaking as well as the per people who are listening gains knowledge. It is one of the best way to share knowledge. Without communication skills, the ability to progress in the working world and in life would be impossible. Now, we will have a short speech telling us about the life of Don Bosco and the challenges and efforts faced by them to become what they are, that is, St. Don Bosco. St. John Bosco, popularly known as Don Bosco, is remembered as a man who dedicated his life to the service of abandoned young people. He was born on 16th August 1850 in Becci in Italy. He lost his father at the age of two and was brought up by his mother. When he was only nine years old, he had a dream that changed his life and it continued to be a guiding force throughout his life. It also inspired him to become a priest. In 1841, he was ordained a priest. Don Bosco was an educational practitioner rather than a theorist. He believed education to be a matter of the heart. He said that boys must not only be loved but know that they are loved. He also pointed out to the three components of the preventive system, reason, religion and loving kindness. He sought to teach the young and help those who slept under bridges and on the streets. He never lost his confidence in the youth. Don Bosco started technical schools to educate the young in skilled jobs like printing, bookbinding and mechanics. He published numerous works. He started the Salatian missions who still continue to work for the young poor people wherever they may be. So this was about Don Bosco's work but there is more to Don Bosco than what has been said. His works have spread far and wide. Let us now invite Travis, who will tell us more about the same. The founder of the Salutations on Don Bosco was St. John Bosco, a young priest who focused his concern on the orphaned and homeless child laborers he encountered in Turin, Italy. In 1859, Inspired by the example of St. Francis de Sales, Don Bosco founded the Salatians to befriend, educate and help these impoverished boys. Thirty years later, at the time of Don Bosco's death, the original group of 22 members had grown to more than 1,000 and had 57 foundations in Italy, Spain, France, England, Uruguay, and Brazil. The congregation continued to spread so rapidly that it soon became the third largest among men's orders. Its work expanded to include trade, agriculture, recreational centers, youth clubs in large cities, summer camps, and parishes. Here, at Don Bosco Barivli, many values taught by St. John Bosco are applied. Every school provides knowledge, don't they? But Don Bosco not only provides and focuses on education, but also sports and skills 
to enhance the talent of the students. As the world progresses in technology, our school too has been upgrading the present technology to make learning much more easier and entertaining. The faculty of our school too has played a very crucial role for us to succeed in education. Although the lockdown has been going on for months, the faculty has brainstormed the best way for us to be educated without being physically present. And today's program is an extracurricular activity, is just a small break from our daily studies and has been carried out with the help of the teachers and the students. As due to COVID-19, this year we weren't able to go to school and meet up with our friends. With this being the last year at school, we will really miss quite a lot of the memories that we had with our teachers and our friends. Although we may be apart from the school, the school will always be a part of us. Thank you. Thank you, Adit and Travis, for the heart-touching speech. Truly, we will always be indebted to Don Bosco. We, the students, truly love our dear Saint Don Bosco. We will never forget the values taught by him. Now, our friends are going to sing a song to celebrate the feast of Don Bosco. What a melodious song, The Boys for 10. Thank you boys for that beautiful song. 
PowerPoint allows you to use images, audio and video to have a greater visual impact. Let's now move ahead and see what we have. We have a PowerPoint presentation giving us some more information about a saint. Saint John Bosco, a Roman Catholic priest, was born on 16th August 1815. He was a pioneer and the founder of the Salesian Order. In his first principle of reason, the child would be given opportunity to consent to guidance and instruction. This principle does not dictate or mandate. On the contrary, it offers the opportunity of a child to consider the guidance and instruction which he would keenly offer. The second principle was religion, which stressed the ugliness of sin and the value of living a virtuous life. We can say that the aim of this principle was to help the child practice good things versus bad ones. The third principle was of kindness, in which he would stress on let us make ourselves loved and we shall possess their hearts. He did this through rapport friendliness, presence of mind, respect, attention, dedication to service, and personal responsibility. He was a father figure to his boys. He guided them back from the darkest path leading them to light. He kept them busy with sports and taught them subjects like art appreciation and instilled practical skills like carpentry. He pulled them back from the vices in the most appropriate manner. Today, our teachers have adapted the role of St. John Bosco in our lives, helping us to walk his path, teaching us to follow his values. Indeed, if an individual practices his teachings, he will undoubtedly earn respect for his lifetime. John Bosco High School, Bodivali, was formed in 1970. It has completed its 50 glorious years of service in 2020. The students, teachers, staff members and members of Don Bosco family were taken on an enchanting magic carpet ride by the students on the annual day itself. This fantastic moment of joy has taken a place in the heart of every person present on the occasion. The environment of the school was and is conducive for all the students. Our school has a large playground, a basketball court, a turf, a tennis court and a table tennis hall which supports sporting activities along with a multi-purpose hall which is used for various purposes. Additionally, a main hall which is used for larger gatherings. This year is special for us because it is the golden year. As we get ready to step out of the school, a bittersweet feeling drifts us. This school has been a second home for the past 12 years and we are going to miss it terribly. We might not have our father and founder St. John Bosco himself around us, but our rector, Father Salmon, our principal, Father Flovey, and administrator, Father Jesu, and our assistant parish priest, Father Renault are living examples of Saint himself. Their love, guidance and support will help us face any hurdles that come our way. Father Flo, your soft-spoken nature has an indelible mark on all of us. Your keen interest in bringing about massive changes both on the ground as well as the school building only speaks of your love and concern for us. We will miss your gentle smile and your loving nature. Lastly, our teachers. It is because of how you taught us, what you taught us and the way you taught us that has made all the difference to our lives. You have brought a world of change and directed our lives towards the path of success. We will forever be indebted to you 
Thank you very much, dear teachers. We are indeed blessed. Thanks to Don Bosco. It is because he was that today we are. Thank you, Aditya, Vedant, Ishan, and Anjul for the informative and beautiful PowerPoint presentation, and for thanking our Saint John Bosco and all our Salesian fathers for all the hard work they put in for the youth. Dance is more than just exploring different ways to make a shape or learning different steps to music. It is a way of moving that uses the body as an instrument of expression and communication. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. So here are our friends presenting an energetic dance. Come, let's join in the celebration. You were fighting, you were praying ever since you were a child. You were dreaming and you found that only kindness can get us anywhere. You can shelter and hope to the young who are lost in the cold world Through your eyes and through your hands they knew God was there My wish for you is to be truly happy And I will wait for you to join me here all the time bigger than the sky The only star is a guiding light What an amazing dance. We hope you enjoyed our class assembly as much as we did and that you have time to reflect on the qualities and messages of our dear Saint Don Bosco. I now invite our principal, Reverend Father Flovi de Souza, to address us. Dear students of Standard 10, it gives me immense pleasure to be addressing you for your class assembly. Uh, it's a very unique assembly probably that you have had in your entire schooling years. Our assemblies are full of uh, dancing, singing and excitement and it was always on the stage. And this is the first time that we are having, having an assembly online. It must have definitely be a, been a unique experience for you as well as for the teachers for, for putting all the all the events, all the items together at the, at the onset. I want to appreciate the efforts put in by your teachers and also students who are part of this assembly. God bless you all. Dear students, most of this year, this academic year has gone, has been online and it's very unfortunate that uh, we are still in the midst of this epidemic. When it began, we felt that, well, it's going to be a matter of a month or two at the most, but almost the entire academic year has gone in a lockdown. And most of us will be discouraged and also a little depressed, wondering what's going to happen. But my dear students, okay, we have got to be hopeful. We have got to be optimistic. We are in a month of St. John Bosco. We're going to celebrate the feast of St. John Bosco. And this is the message that John Bosco gave his students and also his fellow solutions as well, to be always hopeful, to be always optimistic, because when we are hopeful, we can endure anything, we can overcome anything. And this is what I expect and the message I like to leave you as well. Be optimistic, be hopeful be, and work hard.
things are getting better all across maharashtra schools have begun and definitely bombay also will be opening soon you'll be back in school soon and you'll be with your companions you'll be with your teachers soon this i can definitely assure you it's going to happen really soon at least two months two and a half months you'll be in school with us we're going to have your classes revision classes we're going to have your practicals we're going to have prelims and also recently most of you are asking whether we're going to have the farewell definitely we'll have the farewell as well and so my dear students be hopeful be optimistic and work very hard this is my message this is my prayer for all of you thank you uh, Ms. Neelam, Ms. Sa Ms. Mrs. Sauli for putting this program, beautiful program together and teachers who have assisted you in uh, this assembly. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you fathers for your inspirational words. We are your compass for today. I am Master Parth Pujari. And I am Master Jai Dalvi signing off for today. We wish all the 10 standard students all the best for their board exams. Thank, Thank you. you.